Hi, I'm Chris from Integrate AV. If you have any questions about what we're covering today, please get in touch with us. You can email us at education at integrateav.com.au or you can call us 1800 742 748. Remember that we also offer extensive professional development and training sessions, including NESA accredited training for teachers. We're having a look today at the Smart MX series of interactive panels. Here we have an MX right here. So let's have a look at the basic features. You're going to see that this is the home screen of the panel. This is what you'll see when you turn the panel on. Here we have access to our whiteboard, our browser, and the basic functions of the panel. Down on the left-hand side of the panel, we have our buttons. So let's have a look at them. The power button, this is what we use to turn the panel on and off. The source button, this is what we can use to change what is on the screen. So if I press the source button, I can move between the main screen here and what's on my laptop or what's on another computer that's connected. Anything that is illuminated in blue is an active source that I can choose. Our menu button has three horizontal lines and this gives us some settings for the panel. The pause button, this allows us to freeze the panel and whatever was on the screen will stay on the screen. So in the classroom, for example, if you want to mark the role with your laptop, you can go and still keep what's on the screen here for privacy. The final three buttons on the right are our volume buttons, volume up and down and mute. Some MX panels have a different set of buttons, so let's have a look at these now. On this panel, you'll see that our power button is on the far right. This is followed by our two volume buttons. Then we have our pause button, exactly the same as the other panel. And then we have a new button here, which is the screen shade. When I press this button, you'll see that it just covers up the screen. In order to uncover the screen, I just press the button again. Finally, we have our source button and our home button. The home button, when you press it, takes us back to the main screen of the panel. So let's have a look at the whiteboard. In order to start a new whiteboarding session, all I have to do is press new whiteboard. You will notice that down the bottom of the screen here, we have some backdrops that we could select. We could have this simple white screen, we could have a grid, we could have lines, dots, or we could have a black background like a blackboard. If I want to write on the whiteboard, all I have to do is pick up a pen and start writing. In order to change my pen settings, what I will do is I will come to the left hand side of the panel and I will press this pen icon. When I press the icon, you'll see that I am able to change the colour of my pen, I am able to change the line thickness, and I'm also able to move from pen to highlighter. You'll notice that your panel actually comes with two pens. What this means is that you can have two people writing simultaneously. So these panels actually recognise different objects. It will notice the difference between a pen for writing, a flat surface for erasing, or a finger for moving. You can also use the same kind of gestures that you would use on a mobile phone for zooming in and out or moving around. You will see down here that the canvas for the whiteboard is actually very large. So you can move aside and continue working. When you've created your whiteboard session, the panel is going to save that session automatically. Let's have a look. If I come and press my home button, which is this white bar just here, I come back to the main screen of the panel. Now you'll see that the session I just opened is still here in my recent files. If I want, I can actually clear that from my recent files if I don't want to be seeing everything. In order to do that, what I do is I touch and hold and you'll see a white X is in the top right hand corner and that allows me to hide that. However, that has not deleted the whiteboard file. Rather, I can come down here to Files on the bottom of the screen. When I press Files, you will see that all of the whiteboard sessions that I've made are stored here. They've saved automatically. What I can do to delete these if I want to is to again touch and hold, select which whiteboard sessions I want to delete, and then up on the right hand corner of the panel, I press Delete, and now they're gone. 
The other thing that I can do is save that whiteboard session onto a USB so I can then put it onto my computer. In order to do this, I take a USB stick and I insert it into the USB slot on the front of the panel. The panel will automatically detect that a USB has been inserted. There we go. Now what I can do in order to export it is touch and hold on the file and then touch export to USB. Now it's on my USB stick as a PDF. This panel actually has two different whiteboards inbuilt. The main whiteboard is the one that I've shown you already, but there is also the older whiteboard that is the CAP whiteboard. In order to find that, I come down here to Apps, and then you will see up here the CAP whiteboard, and this is the green icon. If I want to pin that icon onto my homepage, what I can do is press the star on the top left hand corner and now you'll see that CAP whiteboard is pinned to my homepage. The main difference between the new whiteboard and the CAP whiteboard is that the CAP whiteboard has a QR code on the bottom right hand corner. You can use an app called the Smart CAP app to scan that QR code and this allows you to control the whiteboard on your mobile device it also saves to the cloud. It allows you to go to a different board, scan the QR code, and bring up a session that you've done previously. There is another app on the home page, and this is an inbuilt browser. In order to go there, I'll just click on browser, and there it is. This is really great because you can browse the web, put on videos, etc., without having to have a computer attached to the panel. So that was the Smart MX Series Interactive Panel. If you've got any questions at all, please contact us, education at Integrate AV, or you can call us on 1800 742 748. And again, don't forget that we offer extensive training and professional development, including NESRA accredited PD for teachers. Thanks very much.